Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Be Told. I am praying that you are well today, that all is well with you. I just got from church, I just came back from church and I left my hat on, okay? So uh, I pray that you are well today. I pray that you are open to receive the truth of God, that we would uncover the sin that is separating us from God today because there is no such thing as little sin, guys. I'm telling you, sin separates us from God and keeps us from our purpose. So let's identify sin at the root and let's remove it in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. So I wanna talk to you about grasshopper faith honey see god sent 12 leaders okay to explore the promised land and 10 of them came back uh and they couldn't see beyond their fears and returned to alarm and discourage everyone else honey because of what they believed and what they saw their perspective right but caleb honey and joshua uh came and spoke truth and said let's go at once and take the land we can certainly conquer it right look at his the two 12, 12 spies were sent out. 10 came back with a negative report and two came back with a different... Why? They saw the same exact thing, but they saw it in different eyes. Okay? Uh, the leaders, the 10 leaders come uh, continued to promote fear and not faith, explaining that they were all like grasshoppers compared to the giants in the land. Now, let me tell you something. As I read this, I think to myself, I too can be a grasshopper in my faith at times, right? Just like... Uh, God promised them the land. God has promised me and you. He's promised me peace, joy, growth, strength, and power. But there are times that I focus more on my fears than on the power of God. And isn't this like every single one of us? Come on, let's just be real. This is why it's so important to remember who God is in our life, to remember his power, that it's not us. It's not, I'm not going to compare myself to the situation. I'm going to compare the God in me to my situation. And when I do that, there's no comparison. There's nothing that can stand in the presence of my God. No evil, no darkness that can stand in the light of God, right? In the truth of God. So when you understand that the truth of God, that the power of God, that God himself dwells in you, then you're going to look at your circumstances differently. You're going to look at the, at the, at the, the giants uh, as grasshoppers, not yourself as one, because you remember that it's it's he who lives in you. It's not I who lives, but Jesus who lives in me, right? So that changes everything. So I pray today that when you go into the land, when God has sent you to conquer something, when God has promised you something, and you see that it's unattainable, remember who lives inside of you. It doesn't matter who's occupying the land, honey. Remember that if God has called you to take that land, then you have got everything you need to take that land, okay? In Jesus' name, I pray. I pray that you rise up with the, with the God that's inside of you today and that you take what belongs to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I am on conquer court, you know, get it conquer court <laughs> and believing Boulevard. Where you at? Holla.